The internet has changed the way we consume music. Websites such as YouTube and MySpace have meant that Joe Public no longer has to rely on major record labels and the mainstream media to filter his entertainment. He has a world of unrestricted access at his finger mouse. This week, we look at the internet phenomenon of Cunt and the Gang, whose low-budget simulated sodomy videos have struck a chord with the general public on YouTube and looks set to launch them on the road to mainstream success. We've all been up to see the cunt and he's the bollocks. Oh, I love cunts! Absolutely brilliant. He's not as good as my cunt, but he's good. Fuck six, baby. Fuck six. And to start, top of the pops next. When I was younger, uh, cunt and my brother went to, went to Cubs. And uh, one time he'd come round my house a little bit earlier in usual. He was a bollock. It's all about cunt in the game. What a funny, what a funny cunt. What a funny, funny fucker. No, funny cunt. I never told him. But, 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 he, he touched, he touched, he touched, he touched, he touched me until I just don't fucking know him. Fucking hell. Hey, don't worry, we'll rape you. I said everyone likes a bit of cunt. Fucking tears, man. Don't fool me. I think my son Cunt is really talented. He's a big hit on the internet, on sites like YouTube and MySpace. There's lots of people going and download his songs all the time. What's going on? What's going on? Cunt, what are you doing? They told me to do it, Mike. No, no one's ever going to think it, sir. I feel a bit of a prick, to be honest. Well, take it off. Take it off. When you've got no major record company behind you, you've got to look after your own quality control. It's all about taking your time and making sure that everything's just right before you release. When I came a tumbling off my BMX When I split my friend Yulem while having sex When some smart ass bastard gives me my comeuppance When it's ages since I've seen a lady's tuppence When there's no clean pants so you have to wear your mums When your bird won't let you fuck her up the bum When you feel awkward and you don't know what to say If you say fuck this, fuck this, fuck this It makes everything okay Mother's cunt. Fat sticks. Welcome to my studio. This is where it all goes on. All the hits get made. This is a Cubase which I use to make all the songs on. And this is one from my last album. This one's called Perverts on the Internet. I'll play you a little bit. <laughs> Managed by Essex entrepreneur Mike Gibbons, who runs his small empire half an hour from London on the A127 South End Arterial Road. Oh, hello, hello, Cunt. Cunt is Mike. Hello, mate, how you doing? Yeah. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Cunt. Yeah, it's about 3.45, I think. Yeah, it's, it's countdown, Cunt. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll call. Yeah, yeah, but. I... Hello? Oh, he's just uh, he's just writing some new material. He said he'd call me back later though. Well, Carol, when I see you on countdown, I have to pull my pants down and pop a finger in my brown. One thing I love about Carol is she's not afraid to endorse a product. I've tried them all at one point or other. Loans, frozen food, Sudoku. I even did a detox diet. Carol Vorderman's detox recipes. Do you know I lost a stone in a month? Everyone said I look like Tom Hanks from Philadelphia. How good's that? I think practice makes perfect where love's concerned. You gotta stick at it. It's the same with wanking. You know I can go from soft to milk in 30 seconds. I'll go in time with a countdown clock. 
strokes. I'm gutted she's left Countdown. She doesn't get a new show, I'm going to be resigned to having an annual wank over the Pride of Britain Awards. Last time I tried that, there so many special needs kids, it put me off my stroke. So I ended up making my own Carol. She's Carol. She's not as clever, but she's nice, I like her. I don't do anything dirty, I don't insert myself into her. I've got too much respect for her for that. I generally just lick her out or have a wank on her jugs. Just on my way over to Mike's on the A127. Do you know he considers himself factually accurate because he gets all his information off Wikipedia? I think he's becoming addicted to it though. I'm worried he's becoming a Wikipedophile. Hunt and Mike have a weekly progress meeting at Mike's office to discuss any developments or ideas to further Cunt's career. Yeah, that's it, mate. Oh, I like your T-shirt. Very smart. Oh, cheers, mate. Got another one that says, I love tits. But I never decide which one to wear. It's certainly the conundrum. Um, right, do you want a drink? Tea? Yeah, cup tea would be nice. Tea, right. We've got two mugs. We've got uh, Andy and Fergie. What children's eye cancer? You have children's eye cancer. I'll have Andy and Fergie. OK. is well known for his sense of humour and fondness for practical jokes. Mike, does that cup smell fun at you, mate? Oh, oh, come on, it's all... It's get, horrible, get, isn't it? Get up, get up, get up. Oh, I think that's oh, you washing up. No, get away. Oh. Well, the first band I was in was called Serious Problem. I started it up with a, a bloke called Roy Tarmac who I used to go to Cubs with. And we were really good mates, but when the band broke up, we just sort of drifted apart and I don't really see him anymore. He left the band to pursue his dreams. Um, Sometimes dreams come true. He's played the Castlemaine 14 times now. The Beatles never done that. I only done a few gigs with them, but um, one of them was up at Hollywoods in Romford. It was run by that pint-sized prick of a DJ, Bruno Brooks. Remember the one who was married to Anthea Turner? She didn't have any feeling in a clip box after that pyrotechnic went off up her fuck flaps. So we were halfway through our big anthem, Take That A Cunts. I don't think Bruno liked our risque lyrical content, and he just cut our microphones off. We're going, Bruno, turn the fucking mics up. And he's like, there's 10,000 watts of power surging through there. We're like, turn our fucking mics up. And he wouldn't turn them up and we ended up getting booed off. I mean, normally my gigs go really well. Uh, there was rumours that I was aggressive. Uh, the rest of the band couldn't deal with me because I was a ball breaker. It's not true, I'm not aggressive at all. Don't, don't smirk, I'm just, don't fucking smirk at me. Don't fucking smirk at me, son. I'll open you up like a can of spam, you fucking slag. Mike has managed a variety of acts in the past with similar levels of success. I've got a few of them here. Um, Mickey Fisk and Enoch, the trading standards monkey. It's a ventriloquist act. Um, the little monkey's catchphrase was, uh, send them back, send them back. I loved it, I was really good, but um, it turns out in the end, actually, I did have to let him go. It was actually quite racist. Um, another one of my favourites, actually, was Paul Beard, ballad singer. I mean, it was no, it was no Tony Hadley, but apparently he had a 10-inch cock, which was very popular with the ladies, but um, he ended up becoming a stripper. This was Jocelyn Cox. Now, a great first-class singer, nice-looking lady, as you can see. I just think her name held her back. Um, I mean, it never did any harm to Jocelyn Brown. I mean, no one ever associated Jocelyn Brown with having a finger stuck up your anus. But now I'm concentrating all my efforts on Cunt and the Gang. They've been my most successful act to date, and they put me where I am today. So we ate the pizza, did the shit in the box, and he fucking delivered it up to the flats without even knowing. So I was meant to be telling you about Pubic Cube. Me and uh, my cousin Andy Cunt started up this band Pubic Cube. It was just pretty much us and backing tracks. So we couldn't get any gigs in proper band venues. So we ended up just playing these poxy talent shows that were all over the place at the time. Take that, take that, oh cunt! Oh, cunt. Take that, take that, oh cunt! Oh, cunt. Pretty much just us and these shit amateur magicians and uh, like karaoke singers, just all these kind of bemulleted ponces singing Nights in White Satin and Wind of Change. And uh, then a uh, little cunt came along and Andy Cunt just sort of lost interest and 
I didn't really see him much after that. I think he was jealous of little cunt's compact talent. He's nicked with sounds, he's nicked with songs, he even nicked with style. And what's worse, he talks it up puppet like he's a fucking person. What a cunt. Yes, yeah, so after Pubic Cube split, that's when I met Mike. He came up all pissed at a retail outlet gig and was giving it the big and about all his contacts in the music business. Do you know, I found his contacts book in his caravan the other week and the only people in it are me and his mum. He's such a fucking loser. Do you know, he calls his caravan the love shack. I don't think he's had it off with a bird in all the time I've known him. If he ever got a bird back, she'd be in for a shop. I saw him getting changed and he's got a really tiny winkle. She'd need the fucking Hubble Space Telescope to find his cock. Oh dear, five words to describe cunt. Um, okay, um, well, talented, um, original, um, visionary, um, maverick, and um, genius. Five words to describe Mike. Where to start? Paedophile, nonce, Helmet, dangerous, and loner. I always like to keep a close eye on fresh talent. Uh, I mean, I'm a little bit like Louis Walsh in that respect. Except, of course, I don't bum anyone. Now, I first met Cunt at a gig. Uh, he was very impressed with the way in which I did my business. And we became close friends after that. Confidants, even, I suppose you could say. I mean, we're, we're a little bit like Fred and Rose West. Except, of course, I don't murder people, and he doesn't fuck black men. Ah, oh, I think she's spotted us. Sorry, we'd better just, um... <clears throat> Unhappy with Mike's recent performance, Cunt has been putting pressure on Mike to tie down a contract for a residency at a local music pub. Um, it's 99% done. Um, just got a Excellent. couple of clauses just to finish off. Nice one. Um, it's, it's not in a moment, it's in the BM at the moment, so... Or was just that... Do you want to just nip it No, there? no, no, it's all in the briefcase. You have to go out in the briefcase. No, you don't need to worry about that. Well, you, um, your briefcase is just there. Oh, uh, is yeah, there? no, 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 really. It, well, it, it, it is, but you don't, you don't see it. I don't need to oh, see it until it's finished. Oh, it's in there. No, really, we'll I don't need to see it until it's, yeah, we'll it's just, done. Yeah, but we'll just have a little, I'll just have a quick look. Mike, there's, there's no contract in there. It's just a fucking pot noodle. And it's not even it's, a pot, it's not even no, a pot it's, noodle. It's, 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 it's a cup noodle, actually. It's a cup noodle. Yeah, well, look. I know it doesn't look like what you're expecting to find in the briefcase. Well, no, I was expecting to find some important paperwork about my career, and he said I found a fucking snack in a pot that you have to add hot water to. The Castle Main pub in Basildon was somewhere Cunt and the gang played regularly until the previous promoter was caught on CCTV inserting a drumstick into his back hole. Frustrated by Mike's lack of results, Cunt has come to meet the new promoter to try and organise a gig. Hello, mate. Hi, mate. What can I do for you? You Joe? That's right, yeah. All right, I'm Cunt from Cunt and the Gang. I sent All you right. a CD and uh, wondered whether you had a chance to listen to it because we're after a gig here. Uh, I think we have had that one in, mate. Yeah, we had a listen. It's uh, yeah. not really uh, not really the sort of thing that we booked, to be honest. It's uh, no? no, not really our kind of, uh, what, our was, sort of stuff. What was that? What sort of stuff do you do here? Well, we do a lot of rock, indie, uh, alternative stuff. Um, well, I mean, yes, yeah, it's pretty alternative. Not well, got yeah, any... maybe, maybe a little too alternative for uh, what we do in this, this pub. I don't think you go down particularly well, mate, to be no, honest. No, you've not got any, any nights like early, early, early week no, or just, something? I just can't see me booking you, mate, to be honest. It's just not our no. that sort of stuff. No, nothing I can say is going to change your mind, mate. Nothing you can say, I can't really think of anything, no, mate. No, nothing, nothing I can do. That's all. Well, I don't know what you've got in mind. Say my name. Go on, Go on, Gig's all sorted. Not any fucking gibbons to sort out for me, do I? Cunt is on his way to Mike's caravan where Mike has been brainstorming ideas. Yeah, I like to drive around Basildon. See the different bits. All the different bits have different memories. Got sucked off behind them shops. Um, I had some ideas for some songs. Now, I mean, you know, we want to try and get a bit more material kind of think That's where you're falling down. Oh, really? Yeah. So, let's see. Um, um, he said, what did I think of the other day? Uh, got a banana, stuck it up my ass. I've 
the oh, old kind of cup. Got banana up me oh, gas bill, gas bill. I've got my gas bill. I took my car to get it cleaned by two blokes from Poland. Sucking off a bailiff isn't as bad as everyone thinks. Gas bill, gas bill. I've got my gas bill. The lady next door, the lady next door. Pretty convinced she's a whore. I wanna ride ya, I wanna ride ya, I wanna ride you like a horse. I like to ride you up the front bum first and then up the back bum, of course. Maybe I'm a nonce, maybe I'm a nonce, that's what's going through my bonce. Maybe I'm a nonce. Gas bill, gas bill. I've got my gas bill. This is fucking shit. Cunt and the gang has another member. Little cunt is cunt's perverted puppet psychic. Cunt claims Little Cunt was his former parasitic twin and that he gave birth to him out of his anus. I was uh, rushed into hospital with a terrible swelling in my stomach and uh, I was dilated to 30 centimetres, it required a small bit of cutting and Little Cunt was born covered in blood shit and sweet corn. Little Cunt says we should sack Mike, our manager, because he's a prick. Little Cunt thinks we should find someone else who does us more justice. Little cunt says, if there's anyone out there who wants to manage us, you know, drop us a line. We haven't got a contract, Mike, other than a verbal one. And little cunt said, we'd be perfectly happy to break that at any point. Can't help it, he said it. Yeah. All right, then, mate, nice one. Yep, see ya. That's Mike. He sort of said some local press. Not holding me breath, though, because last time the headline said I was a racist. My job did get him to ring up and complain. They said it was a typing error. It was meant to say rapist. Come on in, get it here. Singer's vulgar stage name sparks outrage. You fucking wankstain. <laughs> It's a night of Cunt's gig and tensions are running high. Mike is doing more flapping than a tap dancer's fanny and Cunt has a bit of tummy trouble. You out there? Yeah. Can you go and get some bog roll? I can't, I've got my hands full. Mate, seriously, I'm on fucking shit straight here. Can you please just fucking go and get some bog roll? But this is a far more documentary, I can't do it. You're fine. advice, Mike has booked local band Retail Outlet as the support act. I think you're going to be very impressed. I, Mike, I, I heard him in soundcheck. I'm not impressed. What's that fucking song Monkey Man about? It's got about two words. I honestly think you're going to change your mind when you sit. Come in, come in and have a listen. Come Everything a cunt should be. to see things Mike's way, and tensions spill over, leading to a very frank exchange of opinions. Put your hands together, Cunt and the Game! Cunt has had Mike and Retail Outlet removed from the venue, and putting his earlier trouble behind him, takes the stage to do what he does best. For a baldy ding dong, I myself am saving. It's a shaven haven that I am craving. It's a shaven haven that he is craving. Shave it off now. Thinking over a pornographic Polaroid of an ex girlfriend who died. Wank the dog. Wank the dog. 
the dog Pull on a marigold and wank the dog Come on wank, let's go for a walk in the woods Pull on a marigold and wank the dog Thank you, good night Yes, that's been a good night all in all. I mean, Joe's gone home happy, venue's packed out and he's gone over a few quid in his pocket. Punters are all happy because I've put on a good show. Little cunt's happy, he's around the back with a big bag of Harry Bow. And me, well, I'm pretty pleased with the way things have turned out. I feel at times as though I am taken for granted. I'm, um, I'm overlooked a lot of the time. I don't even get, re it's just recognition I want. Recognition and some more money. It's, it's, it's touch and go at the moment as to whether I'm still gonna be in that caravan this time next week. Same nine. Pun. What's my band called? Pun and Gun. And what's your favourite song? I don't know. Anything by Kanye West. Mike gives a slightly tipsy cunt to lift home and hopes they will be able to resolve their differences in the morning when the dust has settled. Hey, get your cunt out! Hey, uh, yeah, get your cunt out! Oh, yeah. Bags! <laughs> Fucking loads of bags, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your rat out! Shut up! Well, I've got one eye on the road and one eye on some silly sod sticking yeah, his head out the fucking, window. And... Yeah, and your japs eye up some fucking bloke's bum, yeah. Uh... That's it, that fucking air, just pull in here. Quick, 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 quick! We aren't going to use this bit anyway, are we? I suppose we can always cut these bits out, probably. time you've been making this documentary I think that it's been a great opportunity for Cunt to see for himself the hard work that I uh, that I do. I suppose what I've learned throughout the course of this documentary is how little work Mike does. To see some of my methods, the methods to my madness, uh, with which I uh, get results. His half arse methods and how few results he achieves with them. And in, in showing him my hard work and the time and effort that I put into it, I feel that it, it's, it strengthened the bond we have. Also, how much time he wastes on all this artist and management bomb bollocks when he could be getting on with something else. <laughs>